Ça se passe en ce moment, Notre-Dame détruite. En April 15th, 2019, Paris was transformed into a real furnace due to a terrible fire that consumed a large part of Notre Dame. Fortunately, the monument will finally be narrowly saved, and the flames of this dark day will quickly give way to the creative fire of architects to rebuild this iconic building of Paris, with one objective, that visitors and faithfuls will be able to return to the place from 2024. Helmet on the head, plans of architects in the hands, I take you today in the backstage of this monumental construction site that has known many twists and turns. But before continuing this journey, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell and press the like button on this video. The Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral has been part of the scenery of the City of Light for many centuries. A must-see place for the faithful from all over the world, but also for tourists who visit the capital. In 2018, the cathedral was even the most visited monument in Europe with nearly 14 million visitors. The religious building has undergone many transformations throughout history. The last major modification dates back to the 19th century. The architect Violet Le Duc added the famous gargoyles of the building and especially a spire culminating at 96 meters high at the crossroads of the transepts of the cathedral. For nearly two centuries, this spire weighing more than 750 tons will be one of the emblems of the building, as well as the two towers of the main facade a symbol which collapses eaten away by flames on April 15, 2019. At 7.50 p.m., only one hour after the first fire alarm, the spire gives way to the flames and comes to pierce the roof of the cathedral. The damage was huge. But after 15 hours of heroic work, the 600 firefighters deployed on site managed to save the entire building. If almost four years later, the legal investigation is still underway to determine the causes of this accident, the reconstruction site began almost the next day. A gigantic construction site that already knows its end date, 2024. It's in any case the promise that the President Emmanuel Macron made to the French during a TV speech broadcast the day after the tragedy. 2024, it's also the year when Paris will receive the Olympic Games a global event that should change the face of the City of Light. To know more about it, I advise you to watch my video on the subject. I put this video in the description just below. Rebuilding the cathedral in five years, the wheel is ambitious, but seems feasible in view of the donations collected. The fire made the rounds of the world, causing a worldwide commotion, a proof of affection for this building known to all, which has also turned into donations. The tragedy has barely ended, millions and millions of euros have been announced by public and private donors to participate in the reconstruction. In total, more than 833 million euros have been received to carry out this work. To coordinate this huge task, the public establishment in charge of the conservation and restoration of the Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral was created. In December 2019, General Georgelin was appointed president by decree for five years. The first emergency is to consolidate and secure the place. Indeed, the absence of a roof destabilizes the whole structure. This step included the installation of wooden supports on the outside of the building, which changed its appearance. A false roof and huge tarpaulins also appear to protect the cathedral from bad weather. Inside, the debris is evacuated and sorted for possible reuse. The stained glass windows, statues and all the art objects affected by the fire are being restored. This first step of the work is marked by several stops on the site. The first one will take place in July 2019 with the risk of lead contamination. During the fire, more than 400 tons of this harmful substance were burned. A major decontamination effort is conducted during the summer of 2019. A second shutdown occurs when a mysterious virus called COVID-19 brings most of the world to a standstill. Faced with COVID-19, the construction site must yield a month's delay between March and April 2020 before resuming its race against time. Key step of this phase of securing the dismantling of the huge scaffolding that was in place during the fire to restore the spire of Viollet-le-Duc. 
a tangle of 54,000 pieces completely deformed by the flames. In order to remove everything, it will be necessary to cut all the tubes one by one. A work that will take six months and will end in November 2020. One month later, another important step is completed with the dismantling of the great organ. Surviving from the flames, it must be restored after being exposed to lead and smoke. At the same time, the future of the cathedral was imagined. For a year, many architects, graphic artists and illustrators will give their vision of the new Notre Dame Cathedral, and the proposals are various. Giant stained glass windows for the Brazilian film AG6 Studio, glass roof illuminated at night for the Italian studio Faxas, a spire projecting a beam of light ending in the sky for the graphic designer Anthony Sejourn. Special mention for the French designer Mathieu Léaneur, who wanted to replace the arrow with a huge statue of a flame, a symbol to keep a trace of the fire. Finally, it will be decided in July 2020 that the structure will be rebuilt identically. The direction taken, the restoration work can begin. Full-scale tests to chapels, Saint Ferdinand and Our Lady of Guadeloupe are targeted to try out the protocols for cleaning and restoring the paintings and other elements of the décor in real conditions. The experiment will take five months. The Gothic Cathedral has 24 chapels. In order to regain its former dress, the church is forced to put another temporary outfit. Since 2021, the interior of this architectural masterpiece has been invaded by an interior leaning of scaffolding, a structure necessary for the workers to access all the strata of the building, even the highest, without using harnesses or other helicopter ways. The rebirth of this Gothic masterpiece is done day after day, all essential, even if some are more symbolic. On September 18, 2021, General Georgina officially announced the end of the security and consolidation work. Since then, the various professions have been working to bring the whole building back to life. Each part of the building is meticulously restored. The stones of the building are removed from the salt and lead. Then, a latex mask is applied everywhere to remove the last impurities. A colossal work. The statues, the wall paintings, the pictures, the bas reliefs also receive a lot of care. This work is also an opportunity to rediscover a place of which we thought we knew everything. Before installing the scaffolding that will allow the return of the spire, archaeological excavations were carried out under the cathedral floor, with a big surprise. Two lead sarcophagi were found, discoveries that will help scientists to better understand the life of this iconic building. Even if it's located on the Ile de la Cité in the heart of Paris, the construction site extends throughout France. In addition to the craftsmanship, it also concerns the materials used. At the croix huillard Quarry in the Raz region, limestone has been extracted since March 2022. They are to be used for the arches of the vaults and the load-bearing walls destroyed during the fire. This site was carefully chosen because the characteristics of the stone are identical to those used by the builders in the 13th century. Another important work to come, the return of the framework and the spire. In order to rebuild the church identically, more than 1,100-year-old trees have been cut down in the French forest. The construction of the spire is now underway. Since the end of 2022, a huge scaffolding of 100 meters high is assembled at the crossing of the transepts. Once in place, it will serve as a structure for the reconstruction of the spire. It remains to be seen when the visitors will be able to step on this sacred ground and enjoy this renewed place. The objective of an opening at the end of the year 2024 seems to be possible. It's in any case what declared the General Georgelin at the end of the year 2022. A positive observation shared by the Court of Auditors in a progress report published at the end of 2022. A ceremony on December 8, 2024, the day of the Feast of the Virgin, is even mentioned. If all the work will not be finished by that date, the main part of the work should be done. But the date remains hypothetical because new unforeseen events can always arise, especially when one is at the bedside of a lady of a 800 years old. From floor to the roof, the cathedral continues to heal, the scars of the fire disappearing thanks to the hard work of the workers. In total, no less than 500 people are mobilized every day to give back to Notre Dame all the brightness of its youth. 
far from the terrible images of a building consumed by flames. The cathedral is patiently waiting for its time to reopen its doors and shine again. A reopening that will also be marked by a complete redevelopment of the cathedral's surroundings, with work scheduled to begin in the second half of 2024. The objective of the project is to welcome tourists in better conditions and to make Parisians come back to enjoy this renewed place, offering a large place to vegetation with 131 new trees planted on the square but also behind Notre Dame with a large continuous square. An interior walkway in the former parking area under the square is also planned. But the whole project should not be completed before 2027. So we have the time to see what's coming. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to press the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you very soon and looking for. Goodbye!